Okay, how's it everyone? Today's video is going to be about an incident that happened the other day. It was two incidents that happened in one week, so I think uh, we can all learn something from watching the footage that we got from the uh, one incident that happened. I first want to say that um, anything can happen and I wasn't inside the plane with the pilot, so I have had it before where my shoelace got stuck on the rudder pedals and I couldn't adjust my foot and I was just banking off. Eventually I managed to um, pull my foot back and break the shoelace and then it wasn't an issue, but you never know what was actually going on inside the, the plane at the time. So, And uh, another thing, flying in Papua is quite a hazardous place to fly. There are incidents that happen once every three months, so it's just a uh, um, a result of the place that we fly in and also in this incident no one is injured so I'm quite happy for all of us to learn from it. Okay so the first picture we've got here you can see the actual runway surface and it does look very muddy and slippery um, I want to say that the company I fly for we've had the runway closed for three years um, due to lack of maintenance by the local people but the runway does look like it has been worked on. So um, the runways in this um, Nibiru Paniai area do tend to be very, very slippery. And this specific runway does tend to have a tailwind as you're coming to land. So you have to be very cautious when you're landing with a tailwind and at a slippery um, airstrip. Okay, so just from the video here, we'll start watching. You can see here, you can hear as he lands, he's already applying the reverse, which does work at some airstrips where there's um, firmer grip and you can slow down and then start to increase your power to get up the slope but it looks like at this airstrip the entire surface is quite slippery and when you go into reverse and um, on a slippery slope you start to get pulled off the one side just to the left hand side in this case <laughs> Um, and you can see as he starts to come up the hill, he's already starting to drift off. This has happened many, many times to me, um, getting drifted off. And it, it, I have been in some close calls similar to this person, and I've just been lucky that I didn't end up like they did. Um, so the usual procedure, if you do get to a slippery um, slope like this, and you're getting pulled to one side, you're meant to apply power, which creates more airflow over the tail, gives you a bit more control, and then you can um, yeah, get back on track. Once you're back on track, then you can reduce the power again. And it looked like he did have a little bit more runway hit. But then again, I wasn't inside the plane with the guy, and you can hear, as he's touching down, he's going into quite a bit of reverse, and that's pulling him off to the left. And, he starts to come up and you can hear he increases the power which is the correct thing to do but he'd already drifted off quite a lot to the left hand side there you can see the wing clips and that's when he goes into reverse and slows down and then um, you know, goes into the ditch there and um, as, as incidents go this isn't a fatal one and yeah I, I think the guy handled it quite well and um, yeah, I'd love to hear what everyone else has to say because this is just my opinion and everyone's got different opinions on how they could have um, done things differently and I think that's the main point of watching videos like this is just to see um, how we can learn from it and not make the same mistakes. Thanks so much for watching everyone and let me know if you enjoy this type of video. Um, I know it's it's just showing the other side of the flying that does happen here in Papua.